Studying the Bible can become a great advantage for many Christians. It's filled with great role models and advice. If you study the Bible well enough, it will allow you to see faces in life in a different way. While you'll be able to know how to get through situations better, you will be able to also help people around you as well. For many that try to get into studying the Bible, it may become a hard task to do. From getting sleepy because you don't like to read, easily being distracted because you want to do something else. You convince yourself to be busy, or you probably find out that your brain has been in autopilot and you can't remember the last three chapters you just read. And I could definitely relate to these things back when I first started studying the Bible. And then I felt guilty when I found myself closing the Bible to continue my daily activities. And today I wanna to tell you guys the things that helped me getting back into studying my Bible and enjoying it. Number one, listening to scriptures. So the idea of listening to the Bible came in mind, so I tried it. So I started listening to the Bible app online preachings, debates against Christians and atheists, and Bible documentaries that I found. And I started listening to all these things while I was driving my car, anytime I was on a walk, while I was cooking or cleaning the house, or pretty much any other time that allowed me to have headphones or listen out loud. Not only did I find myself learning many things that I couldn't learn while I was reading, but it was a great time killer while at the same time being fed the best knowledge humanity can have. Number two, phone applications. Our phones can be the number one thing when it comes to being distracted. But if used well, it can become a great Bible study tool. If listening to Bible things is really not your thing, how about playing some games that have to do with the Bible? There's many apps on your phone that can allow you to learn the Bible and stay interested at the same time. So let me show you a few apps that help me getting back into Bible study. So this app is called Bible Word. It's a type of puzzle game where you have to grab the letters in the bottom and create a word according to the spaces that show it on top. Every word you make will relate to a specific verse that you will see at the end of the level. And each time you finish the level, one letter will be added to this specific verse. Bible Trivia Mania Now this is for those that like challenges. Let's begin with the true or false. This app will challenge you with some hard or easy true or false questions. Now moving on to the missing word section. On this one you will find a sentence at the top with a missing word. Now you need to use the letters at the bottom to figure out that missing word. And once you feel ready for it, this game has 20 question tests from each section of the games. Once you feel the game got too easy for you, go on ahead to the exam section. There will be 50 questions waiting for you. The next one is called Bible Memory, Remember Me. In this app, I'm currently using the Spanish version, but allow me to teach you how to switch languages. You can also pick your favorite translation from the Bible, mine's being the King James Version. So once you're finished, you click done. Now where it says reference, all you have to do is type the verse that you're looking for, and the app will do the rest. After that, if you press on practice, you will get some mini games that will help you memorize the verse. And also one of my favorite things about this app is that you can set a notification timer to remind you to go back in the app and exercise your verses. And last one, Bible study tools. In this app, you can read the Bible like any other day, but it has this one thing that I absolutely love. So you go to library, then to concordance, click on strong exhaustive concordance, and then King James Version. Now here you will see the Bible again with all the books and the chapters. Once you choose the chapter that you want, you click on settings, and check mark strong numbers. Now you will notice some words turn into blue. This means that you could click on those words to reveal more information. Once you click on it, it will show you the Hebrew meaning, the origin, and so much other information that you could go crazy with. Number three, movies and series. So now you have tried to listen to the scriptures or play a couple games, but it's just not enough. How about if you watch it as if it was happening in real life? So there's thousands of movies and series about the Bible that can help you understand what you really can't grasp while you read. From cartoon animation to live action, virtual reality, they have it all. So go ahead and buy a few movies or series or get yourself a virtual reality set that could specifically help you with the story in the Bible that you're having a hard time understanding. I'm pretty sure your interest is going to skyrocket and it will give you a high boost in your interest to studying the Bible and to bringing it back to your daily activities. So after I tried these three things, I found improvement not only on my Bible knowledge, but also on my interest into what the Bible has to offer in our lives. So as I was reading, I was projecting in my mind parts and pieces of what I experienced while I was listening, watching movies, and playing games. So now I was able to integrate reading into my Bible activities 
and feel comfortable doing it. So I found out that I was able to study the Bible following those three things that I mentioned before and that allowed to excuse myself to be too busy to study my Bible. So I hope this helps you the same way it helped me and that you could also help others that are having issues studying their Bible. So I can now reflect that any sadness, depression, loss of hope or any other negative emotion has an answer. Learning the power that's inside our Bibles. I hope you guys have a blessed day and this is Abner from Why So Blessed.